Good morning, everyone. It is 7.30, and everyone is up again because, like clockwork, so we're going to go to um, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base later on today. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base has a connection to history because that's where, when the aliens crash landed in um, they, back in the 50s, <laughs> they took the bodies to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. We're going to see if we can see some aliens. It's going to be awesome. What do you hope you see there? Aliens. Aliens, all right. Look, another ship, another ship. So let's go take a look at what's happening. You excited, Jay? I'm excited. <laughs> okay, that looks Can you top that, Gigi? No. <laughs> what? That's a right, this is a right military flyer. Stuart Fiat 5A engine. I wish I had that in my car. Thousands of OX-5 water-cooled engines were produced in the U.S. during World War I, primarily for the Curtis Jenny airplane. The engine and refinement of the 1914 design was rated at only 90 horsepower as compared to other airplane engines in the period. It was very reliable. Some OX-5 engines are still being used in restored Jenny airplanes throughout the nation. I know. That's kind of cool. I know. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's like going... That's a face mask to, war to protect the um, flyers from the cold air at high altitudes. <laughs> Looks like one of the silence from the lambs masks, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah. All right, so I just read some more about this bug thing right here, right? <laughs> basically what this was, this is a, a drone. This is basically what it was, an early version of a drone from 1917. It would fly for a certain period of time and then shut its engine off and then release and then drop down and then unload its targo. That's wild, man. We talk about all the drones nowadays and yet they were doing it in 1917, just not as sophisticated. Some serious hardware right there. That's an actual concentration camp uniform. Wow. Makes you think a little bit, doesn't it? Thumper. A rabbit. That's why they call him Thumper the Rabbit. That's why they call them the rabbits. Yeah. Rabbit Very cool. All these are bombs right here, buddy. Wow, in this place they're in this. Don't touch them, they'll explode. They will? Yep. They'll explode. Don't touch them, they'll explode. <laughs> no, they will. Yes, they will. They're real. Okay, hey, go they're, on. They're fake. No, they're not. Were you were you tricking me? Would I am, was I tricking you? Would I trick you? Yes, you would. <laughs> Did you trick me? Yes, I tricked you. It's a news report. Maybe they turn to the left. I wonder what the purpose of the the opening are, on the mouth like that is for. I wonder what that's for. Uses. I guess I could read and find out. Huh. Some of them don't have much repeller. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. Check out that huge radio receiver. I think that thing That's a Mark 41. That's a thermonuclear bomb. That's bad news, buddy. Bad news. Why? Well, a, a thermonuclear bomb, it it's Kills a very yeah, it's a very powerful bomb. There's no such thing as a nuclear war, buddy. It's only a nuclear holocaust. So these are all things that are ordinary items that have been converted to turn into spy trades, a can of Budweiser that holds secret compartments, uh, 
an ordinary pencil case or man manicure case that actually holds documents and stuff like that. It's a hollowed out coin. That's kind of cool. Wait, are they alive? I don't know. Do you think we'll see any aliens? <laughs> alive ones? No. Oh. I think we'll see pigeons. Just back easily. That's the Apollo 15 command module. Endeavor. That's impossible. It's not impossible. It's what it is. Wow, look at all the burn marks and everything. Yeah. It has been burnt. Could you imagine that two people fit inside that thing <laughs> for an extended period of time? That just seems wild to me. That little thing right there, down below the coin, that's a moon rock. So you take a look at all the rockets. Wow, buddy, check these out. They're huge. Yeah, that is huge. I don't know how to do rockets out there before. Awesome. From up here, you can really get a scale how big that plane is down there, can't you? What plane? The plane that we went underneath. So it these are like the two space, but it was actually their food. food. Right, so this was, oh, look at this. That, that tube right there is beef and gravy. Oh, that's veal. I'm not sure that's really, mm, that's a cheese. That's a cheese sandwich. That's a cheese sandwich. That's a bread cube. <laughs> Strawberry cereal cube. That thing right there is a beef sandwich. Chicken and vegetable shrimp cocktail. Mmm, that looks delicious. <laughs> oh my Come god. On. Come on. Mmm. Boy, I thought I had it bad with MREs. Yeah, really. I'll leave that pop off. Pop off. Yeah, buddy. We got it. I know. It's a Phantom 2. Oh, yeah, sit back like that. There you go. See, and that's it. Look, look, right there on your right. That's where you control the plane, right there. That's how you steer. You sit back, you sit back, and then you steer with that. That's how you steer. Going into a replica of the space shuttle. But you said we can get inside. Well, okay, I meant we could look inside. I'm sorry. Look at that, a genuine space toilet. See, that one's faster. No, it's the wind that affects that one more because it's not very aerodynamic. The other planes are a little bit more aerodynamic, so that's why they're not blowing back. Try it again. Okay, push it forward, push it forward. There you go, good job. So what did you uh, think of the Air Force Museum? It was very interesting. Now, you don't remember being there at all, right? I mean, I know it's been years ago, but you don't remember it all? Seriously. Seriously, do not remember it. <laughs> Ever since her brain surgery, she's had uh, memory loss. I'm lucky that she remembers she's married to me. That's right, you are lucky. Nah, right, right. <laughs> Point it up. Hold on. Go ahead, shoot it. Wow. Pretty high. All right, everyone, we've had a long day, hour up to Dayton, hour back, lots of stuff going on. And getting ready to go see Captain America, the Winter Soldier. That's what I'm getting ready to do right now. By that time, after I, the time I come back, it'll be late and it'll be time for bed. So thanks, everyone, for watching today. Really appreciate it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see everyone later. Thanks a lot. This is Heath signing off. Bye.